welcome back everyone, Twitch is here, and I am back yet again for yet another early look at some San Diego Comic-Con 2024 exclusives, and this time it comes courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys. We have the second in their lineup of six, the one, the only from Nosferatu, we have Count Orlock. This time being a Remco retro-inspired version on a cool card back. And yes, he does glow in the dark. And, well, you just get a figure on a card. But it's creepy, nonetheless. And he actually glows pretty dang good, I have to say. So, if you want to keep him on the card, which I think a lot of people in this specific version are going to... Yeah, you can see him glowing oh so good. On the back side of the card back, very simple, but you get a look at all the universal monsters that they have done thus far, with Nosferatu getting this now second release on a Remco retro card back. But it's still pretty cool nonetheless. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure, so thank you very much for that, as well as the barcode. But you're not going to need this because he will be available at San Diego Comic-Con 2024 exclusively. Or starting June 26th through the 28th, you can head over to thenecastore.com and pick one up for yourself. So... This is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, get ready to sock some blood. This is an early look at the San Diego Comic-Con 2024 exclusive, the glow-in-the-dark Count Orlock Nosferatu on the Universal Monsters Remco Retro Cardback by NECA Toys. So here's the count all out of the packaging, and this video will be fairly simplistic because it is just a figure. It's a figure that glows in the dark. There's nothing much else to him, but you do get a well-sculpted, very creepy, very uh, Sandy Cohen eyebrowed out Count Orlock. It's, it's terrifying, <laughs> especially those teeth. But yes, the head, the hands, those will glow. The rest of the body, not so much. The neck included as well. But you get the basic articulation. But keep in mind, if you push it back too much, it'll knock into the collar, and then the head just pops off. It's not loose by any means, but it has a limit to where you can push the head back. The arms, fairly simplistic. Nothing at the bicep. You got single joints. They go up, they go down. They'll spin, of course, at the elbow, which... That's enough articulation. And then you have the hands, which will go up, down, left, right. He's got those very spindly fingers, kind of Mr. Bloom style, but not much paint on this guy. He's just very simplistic. He has a waist. You can kind of sort of get some abs going in there, but it's not going to really do much. The legs kind of sort of hindered by his jacket. You can see that you can get them going back a lot more than going forward because you got the slits in the back. You got the knees single jointed. They'll spin. You got the feet of which, yeah, he's got a nice pair of Victorian Beetle boots going on. But other than that, yes, fairly simplistic glow in the dark. This as much as I say I like to open my figures for those of you grabbing this, this is most likely one you're going to want to keep on card back. Now, in juxtaposition to all the other universal monsters that I have in my collection, from the Frankenstein to the mummy to then, of course, Count Orlock, Dracula, I, I got to tell you, when kind of size comparing all of these, I was surprised by how tall Count Orlock is. And yes, he is supposed to be around seven foot one. I looked it up. But of course, that's not the only monster here. <laughs> we have... It's the new Pennywise, of course. And yes, if you are a NECA Toys fan, you got all the other horror figures, Count Orlock, this glow-in-the-dark version will fit in nicely. To look at all these other Batmen together, we have Dracula, Count Orlock, and of course, a NECA Toys Aliens vs. Predator Batman. Sure, those will go nicely. And if you caught my last video, we took an early look at Captain Impressive from their Dinosaurs toy line. So that's two down. We got four more to go, so stay tuned. We'll have a lot more STC exclusives to check out. So that is going to wrap it up for my early look at the brand new NECA toys from their Universal Monsters line, the San Diego Comic-Con 2024 exclusive, the glow-in-the-dark Count Orlock from Nosferatu. And I think they did a great job in terms of what you are getting. This is not something mind-blowing. This may not be something that you absolutely need for your Universal Monsters collection, but it's a nice retro nod to things of the past. And if anything, while he doesn't really have much to him in the way of accessories, it's a figure retro card back. It glows in the dark. 
that's really all you need it to be. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Nosferatu. And thank you again to my friends over at NECA Toys for setting this out for the purposes of this video. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most important, remember, they did the mash. They did the monster mash. And that's, that in of itself, is part of the fun of having all these figures on your shelf. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.